Hello, I am Dr. Serena Schrager from the University of Wisconsin Department of Family Medicine and Community Health. Today, I am talking about shared decision-making in breast cancer screening. This video demonstrates a model using four steps, invite, acknowledge, instruct, and summarize. We use an online decision aid to help a model patient decide about screening mammography. Would you like to talk about breast cancer screening? I thought that a mammogram was just required every year. No, actually, you have a choice anytime you're doing a screening test. Um, I'm going to use this um, computer program to actually help us go through the conversation about the harms and benefits of having mammograms. Okay. Okay. Um, now, this tool works best if you're average risk. So this first screen just excludes people who are high risk. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. So then we enter your data, your age, your race, ethnicity, and you've never had a breast biopsy? I have not. Okay. Then this other part brings in the density of your breasts, and that is information that we got from the last mammogram you had. Breast density is an independent risk factor for breast cancer, and as the density increases, your risk increases. Okay. And what density is measuring is just the amount of fat to other tissue in your breasts. Okay. Does that make sense? It makes sense. Okay. So we have that information in. What this screen is telling us that your risk of developing breast cancer in the next 10 years is about 2.1%. And an average person your age is 2.2%. So you're about average. Mm -hmm. This orange bar is you compared to somebody, an average person your age. And then this is compared to a 50 year old. So you can see that the risk at age 50 is much higher. Mm -hmm. This next screen provides us the same information, but in a different form. These are a thousand women um, over 10 years, and over 10 years, 21 are gonna be diagnosed with breast cancer, so 2.1%. Out of those 21, 17, the yellow people, are gonna be fine from their breast cancer, and four are going to die. If you decide to have a mammogram every year for 10 years, this is what happens. We're gonna save one life, and then these blue people all are gonna get called back for extra views, um, and the dark blue people are all gonna have a biopsy after they have either extra views or abnormal mammograms. So a lot of people look at this bottom part of the graph as a potential harm from getting a mammogram. What do you think about that? I guess I didn't realize um, that there was this flip side, this negative to getting mammograms, but this information helps a lot. And I, I think I understand that there's the potential harm, but for me personally, um, I think I'd still like to get a mammogram, that that, that will just make me feel better um, about, my, about staying healthy. Okay, okay. So what I'm hearing is that getting a mammogram for you will reassure you that you don't have breast cancer. Right. And hopefully knowing that there is this potential for getting called back, if you do get called back for extra views, you'll be at least somewhat reassured that the majority of times that's gonna be normal. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, okay. So I'll go ahead and order the mammogram. I'm going to um, make a summary that I will print out for you so you can take it home to look at. Mm -hmm. And then when I see you next year, we can talk about whether you wanna continue getting mammograms every year or whether you wanna to go to every two years. That sounds great. Okay, good. All right.